we thought we'd give you a glimpse of what a week at our chateau looks like. Prepare to be fascinated or very bored. This was an exceptionally busy week. Jobs included donkey pedicures, chateau exterior maintenance, and a total room makeover. It's spring, but it doesn't feel it doesn't like feel it feel this like morning. Spring. It's really <laughs> cold and windy. Yes. How are you? What's what's how's how's the shoulder? Oh, it's well, <laughs> that makes it feel great. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's getting better. Um, uh, I feel pain when I do too much, and that's sort of what that tells me. Okay, you're doing too much. Well, you're kind so. of good, like one day on, one day off. Is that how you you've been? Yeah, yeah, uh, basically. Yeah. Um, I just, I do what I can. Okay, what so else? you'll be back in action, like, like full-time soon. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Because of your injury, the, the bathroom project has been halted because there's some things that you needed to do that involved two arms. <laughs> right, well, basically, yeah, some carpentry. We're so close to finishing We're the bathroom. Very, very, We're very so close. so close. Sockets and switch plates. We're waiting for Because those are coming from Spain, and I feel right. like it's taken so long. Maybe yeah, they're it's... arriving on horseback <laughs> or something. We only have a few more things to finish up, mm -hmm. and then we're in business. Yeah. Yeah. Well, hello there. Hi. How are Hi, you? Hi, donkeys. How are you? Speaking of the donkeys, um, <laughs> they just had their pedicures, and they weren't very well behaved. The farrier came to trim them. Why don't you give them some carrots? I hope you yeah, have carrots. <laughs> I do. Yes, of course. The farrier came to do their hooves. And we schedule this once every four to five months. He gets a little aggravated with Dominic because Dominic doesn't want his hooves done. Well, well she's right? not that she's, great either. I mean, yeah. the problem is they... They do whatever they want all the time, except for when the farrier comes to do right, their right. hooves. Right, they, they have. So they're not quite used to having to do something they don't want to be doing. Yeah, but, but what he suggested, which is a great idea, when we're out here giving them carrots, get a brush, and while we're giving them the treats... Get them to lift their, their hooves up, just one at a time, obviously, <laughs> and uh, you sort of brush the bottom, just, just so they get used yeah. to... Uh, their hooves being touched and right. worked on. But it, I, I must tell you, this time getting their... Um, I never remember the name of the thing that goes over their heads. The not harness? A bridle. The it's harness. not a harness. Well, the uh, thing that goes over there. <laughs> yeah, we're not... We're not to, to, put the, uh, to put their leads on. Yeah. So I found it much easier this time. So they're getting used to that. So they're I think... They're getting better. They don't... Yeah. Boy, don't it's windy. It as much, yes. Okay. That's all I have. Um, That's all we have, yeah. Yeah, so. You good boy. But their hooves yeah. look beautiful. And we couldn't film it because it took three people to hold them in yeah. place. <laughs> so uh, maybe next time we can we can film it to show you yeah. how that works. When but they don't want to when they don't want to do something, you can't no, really do it because. It, they weigh 900 pounds. But he's very good with them. So. Yeah. All right. It's cold. Go in your donkey house. Now that the weather is behaving better, we were able to get some much needed work done on the exterior. There were gutters to repair, as well as several leaks, and thanks to our drone, we were able to pinpoint the area before the cherry picker arrived. Repairs were made to the zinc window covers and cracks in the sandstone filled. Next on the list was trimming branches on one of our massive oak trees. So we had a couple of branches trimmed off of this tree because we were concerned about them, or actually the whole tree falling, if it did fall because all of its weight was on this side, 
it would have fallen into one of our buildings. We had a guy take a couple of really big branches off this side. And you can see from these that it's a good thing we did because they're rotting from the inside, so it was only a matter of time before they would have fallen anyway. And it's better to have them down this way. Do you think the whole tree's rotting though? I don't think so. Um, Mr. Tree Expert. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, hard, it's really hard to say, but the other, the other branches look pretty healthy. But at least if it falls now, it won't... Um, Chances are it won't fall that way. It'll go this way, probably. Yeah. Our um, <laughs> hedge is a little damaged, but that's okay. That'll grow back. Is upset. Lincoln just drove over her toy. Oh. Well, she's not that upset. Don't swallow that. Yeah, this is a project we've been wanting to do f since we moved yes, in because yes. this was completely um, full of trees, young trees, young trees, and uh, lots of brambles. Yeah, a ton. So we couldn't even get through here. Right. I think he removed about six trees. He was just trying to clear, and the trees just started falling over because <laughs> the the soil was so soft from all the rain we've had. Yeah. And they're young trees anyway, so. So they just kind of toppled over one yeah. on top of the other. Thankfully not onto our wall. Right. I think he was no, he conscious of that. He knew what <laughs> he was doing, that's um, for sure. We know that this used to be open from old maps. So uh, we wanted to have it clear again because it makes access easier anyway. Well, we need to clear the entire perimeter Right. Around the wall because we have... There are too many things that have grown. Yeah, yeah. It's, and it's not good for the wall because now we'll be able to get some sun. Right. It was but, very shaded here. Yeah, so the next step is to remove all of these trees. I don't know if we're going to do it in the next few weeks. This uh, faces the orchard. The barn over here will um, get a get more sun because that's the barn facing the orchard that we want to put the solar panels on. Right. The other side of the, the side you can't see. Welcome to our office that no one wants to use. Can you blame us? It's a bit dingy and needs a redo. The problem, the only access to bring furniture up is a narrow spiral staircase or this small window. I needed a desk in a small box, so where did I go?
My goal was to get this room done fast. I gave myself two days. Were you just swearing? What? Were you just swearing? Yeah, why? Okay, you're allowed to swear. Yeah, I think it's good. All right, now we just have to bring up the furniture. We have to clear the room and then bring up the rug and the furniture. We have to put together the furniture. That should only be a three hour job. So I have these lovely old pictures which were um, left up here in one of the closets. So. Eventually, I'll put them down in our kitchen when it's remodeled, but for now, I think I'm just going to put them on top of the armoire. almost done this is the last year. oh my gosh then we'll have a desk then i can start piling stuff on no you will not have your crumpled up receipts from 1987 <laughs> sitting on this desk <laughs> it is done excellent go to bed <clears throat> thank you happy to be standing here in a brand new office, a designated space to do paperwork, to have my computer. I can edit these fantastic YouTube videos here. Um, it's going to be a game changer for us. We had papers just scattered all over the chateau and it was just hard to organize anything. We didn't have a proper space. This was, we called this the office, but no one really wanted to come up here and do any work and, and get anything done. So I said to myself, 
self, get this done in, in two days. I can do this on, on a weekend. So I started on a Friday and ended up finishing on a Sunday. So I think it was all together, you know, two full days of, of work. I felt like I was on one of those, those design TV shows where you have to get the, the room done before the owners come home, you know, but I'm the owner and I'm putting the pressure on myself. So it was just kind of something I needed to get done. And I figured let's just do something quick, easy for our sanity. I have given Lincoln a drawer, so that's good news for him. <laughs> I think he'll be happy to do paperwork and things up here. So I feel like with everything, once I say I'm done with a room, I'm never quite done with a room. It's always um, sort of a work in progress. And I'll, I'll probably end up tweaking this a little bit. I'm really happy how it turned out. This office is located in our master bedroom suite area, which consists of two floors. We're really limited with what we can bring up here because of the spiral staircase and a tiny little window. So we were lucky that the desk was flat pack. We could carry it up in pieces. This bench, we were able to lift up vertically and sort of over the railing, but this almost didn't fit. So this is, this is a real treat. And I really didn't do many repairs. I mean, there are some holes and um, caulking that needs to be done, but that can be done at a later date. So I just went with a nice white to keep it bright in here. Now that I've got this done, I can continue with my ceiling downstairs in the salon. So I really wanted this room to be kind of fun and have little things from the kids. I hung my daughter's interpretation of the Mona Lisa. I think she did this when she was five. That's in chalk. So I just thought that was adorable. And then, you know, little things, a, a drawing my, one of my daughters drew, and then a little heart, which I thought was so cute. This is a bench that was in one of our outbuildings and it's an antique school bench. Uh, came with the chateau, so I thought, pretty cool. And then there's Lincoln's sign, Lincoln Boulevard from San Francisco. A few cookbooks. I still don't have all my books up here. Uh, this is fun. This is a first edition of Stuart Little from 1945, I think. Hard to see these, but these are little photos that I framed. I bought these in Dublin, and I thought they were pretty. St. Stephen's Green, and some cows, and Perry. Maple, have you arrived for your meeting? <laughs> these are the brocante chairs that I purchased several months back. We have a set of six of them, so I thought they'd be a nice addition in front of the desk so I can have meetings with my invisible friends. Or I can always call the kids up and, and admonish them for something they've done, which doesn't happen very often. I'm just kidding. This armoire was already here. There are my pictures. Now I have a proper space to sit down and edit my YouTube videos, which is kind of fun. It was hard to get things done. So now I have a, a proper space. I just have these photos of the children when they were little. They were in Hawaii and those are my favorite photographs of them. And I know I have to have some toys for the cats. Not the most beautiful looking cat tree, but it's a necessity and um, the cats like it. More cat toys. I mean, photographs that I still need to figure out where to hang. These are portraits of previous cats we had. And then I just hung these two chalkboards slash magnet boards here because I tend to write a lot of notes and to remind myself of things. And if it's right in front of my face, I'll see it and remember it. This room has a really pretty view. You see the donkeys out there. Oh, the windows are dirty. Surprise, surprise. I ended up putting in a modern light fixture 
simply because I had this already. I actually like the juxtaposition of the ceiling rose and then with the, with the modern light. We did have an antique chandelier that I wanted installed, but Lincoln didn't have enough time to order the parts and, and put it in. I kind of like this now. Thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe. And if you have something to say, leave us a comment.